Neon Revenge meets Songbin Cha, the secret superhero hiding in plain sight. By day, he's just a regular geek, but by night, he becomes Neon Mask, the online hero fighting bullies. With his cool style and big heart, he's on a mission to stop bad behavior for good. Can he win the battle against bullies, or will they keep coming back for more? The story opens up with a girl named Ji Hyo Min, who is the Neon Mask channel mod. She tells her buddy the story of the ruthless Seong Bin Cha. Seong Bin isn't always so cruel. School bullies caused the death of the only family he had. His little sister had nothing to do with bullies, living a fairly simple life. She was a polite girl who never caused trouble. Another man, Seha Kim, adds to the conversation while preparing his gun. The sad part is that Yebin really didn't deserve to die that way, which Taeyang Ok agrees with while training his biceps. One high schooler who aspired to be a bully ran out onto the road to himself, to an organization. While doing so, he caught the driver off guard who swerved to avoid him and hit Yebin Cha, Seong Bin's little sister. With no parents or relatives, they only had each other to depend on, so there was no one to help him. After that, Seong Bin completely lost it and went on a killing spree. After finding out where the bully is, Seong Bin goes to their spot to meet the person who caused the death of his little sister. After beating up his lackeys, Seong Bin steps closer to the culprit who punches him. In response, Seong Bin beats the bully up and asks him why his sister had to die. The bully angrily tells Seong Bin that he wants to get into the troll fam, since if they think you have guts, they invite you into their family. Seong Bin is confused by this unheard of organization. The bully then explains to him that it's an exclusive gathering for the leading bullies in the country, and if you successfully join them, you get to live a life like rich kids and celebrities. They party every day at hotels with swimming pools, throwing back drinks. Not only that, if you're hanging out with rich people, the police won't bother you as well. The bully tries to justify Seong Bin's sister's death, but this makes him even angrier since the bully killed his sister all because he wanted a high life. The bully yells out for his mom like a coward while Seong Bin thinks about his revenge. But this isn't it. This isn't how he wants revenge. As Seong Bin is about to throw himself off a roof, the bully's phone rings, catching Seong Bin's attention. He sees the bully's friend congratulating him for joining the troll fam since they left a comment on the bully's post. Seong Bin vows to avenge his little sister after reading the message. He will stop the troll fam and every damn bully on this planet. After that, Seong Bin directs his rage toward the bully, who is now nowhere to be seen and has completely disappeared. The head of the detective agency, Dio Kill Back, supposes that it may be because of the troll fam. But the real target is bully culture, the rotten culture that paints these bullies as being cool. Hunting down bullies isn't justice, since no one sees killing pests as a morale act. The Neon Mask channel hasn't tried to stop Seong Bin either because he's a steady source of income. Only after a year of his sister's death has Seong Bin's influence spread everywhere. For a single teenager to organize, all of that is crazy. The gym manager, Gangbum Lee, tells the others to avoid fighting him since he's quite strong and is the one who trained Seong Bin. Seha Kim admits that even if he was handed a gun with live ammo, he'd be scared to fight Song Bin. Song Bin appears and says that he won't stop until all the bullies are wiped off the face of this earth. And now's the time for Neon Mask to fight the bullies. A news anchor announces that a popular video sharing platform has recently been facing criticism after one of its channels gained worldwide popularity. This particular channel has over 10 million subscribers and generates around $90,000 a month, along with countless views. They have a ranking system for rogue teenagers who are referred to as bullies, offering rewards to make them fight one another, as well as streamers inflicting violence on themselves, causing a huge scandal. Neon Mask starts his live stream today at Tewa High School, which is ranked 28th in the country. 
Today's targets are Hyante Kim, Bully Rank 332, worth $450, and Sangil Choi, Rank 120, who is worth $630. After talking about the small fry, he introduces the main target of the day, Jin Myung Yu, whose bully rank is 58, and he is worth about $10,000. Neon Mask is here today because Taemin Kim, bully rank 67, said he would be hunting them down. But it looks like Taemin has been knocked out himself. Neon Mask ridicules the beaten up Taemin since he came from another province for the cash, but got destroyed. Suddenly, the target appears, calling Neon slurs and telling him that he will regret coming. A ton of people arrive to counter Neon Mask's attacks, but Neon laughs and proposes an idea. The bullies go and get themselves ice cream for the amount that would be rewarded to the hunter Tewa if he had won. It should be enough for each of them to get an ice cream. Tewa commands his underlings to rip Neon's mask off his face, and they comply. The fight commences, and Neon asks the mod to help him out. The men are caught off guard as a woman whacks their buddy with a math book, causing him to pass out. The girl, Jihyo, heads toward them with the book in her hand and dodges their attacks while simultaneously beating them up. Jihyo laughs like a maniac, which scares the underlings. Neon tells his viewers on his live stream that he wasn't in the mood to hunt today, but the bullies had the nerve to challenge the great Neon Mask. He tells his viewers that he's putting on a reward of $900 per one of these bullies. For those that already have rank, their rewards have tripled. Neon tells the famous brawlers around the country to come to earn themselves cash by beating up the bullies. The bullies start running away and Tehua is frustrated. He grits his teeth and heads towards Neon to punch him. But Neon doesn't even flinch and punches back. Neon sets his camera on the ground and gets ready to fight. He whacks Taiwa's feet and then smashes him onto the ground. After that, he snaps his arm. Neon reveals that a few days ago he got a tip-off that Taiwa assaulted and stole from an innocent female student. But he got away with it because he's a minor. Neon tells Taiwa that he can't stand seeing trash like him strutting around like they've got a hit. Neon decides to instill the true meaning of fear and pain into Taiwa. Neon tells his viewers that for every dollar they donate, he will punch Taiwa, and not only that, he will donate that money to the victim's family for her therapy. Suddenly, Neon whips out brass knuckles to beat him up. He swings at Taiwa again and again. With a bloodied face, Tewa blocks himself from the punches and cries and begs that he'll apologize to the victim. But Neon doesn't care. He tells Taiwa that if he blocks his face one more time, he will end his life. Taiwa's body shudders in fear, and as soon as Neon is about to hit him, the moderator steps in, telling him that the live stream is over. Neon grabs Taiwa's hair and tells him to listen closely. He tells Taiwa that if he ever gets another tip-off that he tries to get his revenge or has been rude to others or acted like a bully in the slightest, Neon is going to chase him down into the afterlife. The viewers on the live stream laugh, and Taiwa and now Neon have to go as he hears police sirens. After finishing up the live stream, Neon heads behind a wall and changes into his normal clothes while Jihyo changes as well. He heads back home and takes a shower. After coming out of the shower, he is reminded of his mission to show Troll Fam the true meaning of fun.